I just got a new RGB panel light so that I can create pretty backgrounds no matter where I am because I keep finding myself in my dining room so my dogs have more room to play and this wall is just not the vibe. And so this is really great because there's a lot of controls. It's very bright, but I really like that on this device, it does have three separate locations on each side so that you can slide in other lights. So we've got the little hot shoe mount down here. You can attach this to your camera and then have three other lights coming off of it if you want, or you can just create a montage of lights to make it brighter. But I really like this because it's both the white based coloring and it has color in it, which is top of the line. It does just charge with a little cable right here and it does show you the percentage on the back so you know exactly how far it's charged when you're gonna grab it and go. And then all you have to do is slide the button to turn it on and you can see it's a pretty bright little light right there, but you also have the ability to control it. So the second from the right over is going to be the button that controls which setting you're looking at. So whichever is highlighted is what you're focused on. So you've got 100% here. So watch this, we can go up and down with this and the, you can either tap it or you can just hold it and it's going to scroll that right down for you. You also then have the ability to control the, wa the warmness or coolness of these lights. And again, you can just hold it in and it's going to just switch for you. So you can kind of see we went to that yellow base and if I hold it, it'll go back up to that white base. So it's gonna give us the different spectrums of colors to balance out whatever light you're working with. Now, when you are going to switch this, you're just gonna take that second from right button. That's kind of your main deal here. And you are just gonna hold it down until it changes color. So you can see how it went to the blue. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tap this up so you can see the full power of this. We're at 96%, 100%. So you can see how blue this is. And then all you have to do is hit that button again. And it has the color spectrum right on here. So it's got the lines, zero is over in the reds. And then we've got uh, 120 in the blues and greens. 240 up in the blues and purples, 360 in the reds. So it tells you where that percentage is or the degrees are. And then you're just going to be able to shift through those. Those are the puppies that I was talking about before. And you can see how it's shifting those coloring right there just by holding that down. So that's pretty nice. Now we're gonna take a look at how this is going to illuminate the wall behind me. You can see already, this is such a huge deal. And so I am just going to hold it behind me. Now, typically I would find a place to put this. If I have more than one, I can illuminate different sides. You can see how it illuminated the chair here. And wherever you put it is where it's going to shine brighter. So the closer you are to it and the further away you are from it is going to dictate where it is. I could even set this something like on my table right here and you can see how it is illuminating that for us. So that's going to be the really good opportunity for me to then illuminate my background. It doesn't go super high, but if I tilt it at an angle, it's going to go a little bit higher. And depending on my, my lighting in the room, that'll change the way that it's going to interact with it as well. I have big open windows on all the sides and a skylight right now. So it's kind of drowning out this light a little bit, but then I can temper it by changing the percentages, changing what color I'm going to be using. So let's actually try a uh, different color entirely. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold that down. You can see how it shifts to blue. Blue stands out a little bit more than the purple does, again, depending on where I'm going to be placing that. If I set it down here on the table, you can see how that makes it pop. And then where I place myself will make a difference with that. For this, I would actually probably put this behind me. I might have a little tripod that I attach this to so that it is directly behind me so that it's got higher color around me. But there are lots of options for you here as well. And then of course you can actually hold that button down again and it will do different settings. This one is scene number five, fireworks. So it's just changing the colors as you go. So you have the ability to kind of change and shift what you're doing depending on what you want. And you can just cycle through those. So scene six is TV, scene seven is party. And it will show you the different colors that you have there. You can use it as a hair light. You can put it above you as a rim light. You can put it off to the side. If you just want that like little kick of light to the side, you can put it right off camera so that it highlights your hair. There's lots of things that you can do with this, but this is a very, very good, very affordable device. I will be breaking down how you can be using this. You're going to see it in some of my videos as well, but this is a really great travel kit and then you just turn the light off charge it back up and you're ready to go and again you can combine them to make them brighter or to stand out in different areas i'm actually going to buy a couple of these to have them on different sides of me because my puppies keep walking around knocking into my cameras and things like that and so i want to have them in different locations so they're not knocking all those things over but so that it illuminates other areas as well this is going to be really good for filming like tiktoks and instagrams in the moment instagram stories so I don't have to go all the way down to my office, which is on a different floor of the building in order to film my content and look higher end or look more on the techie side of things. So this is really good. You can see it is 
just about the size of my hand. It is a little bit thicker than a lot of the pocket size things that I show you. So definitely not fitting in any girl pockets anytime soon. But if you've got the bigger guy pockets, this will fit for you. This is really great to go in your bag. This is something I'm gonna be carrying around as I travel. So this will go in my camera bag or in my purse as I'm doing things and that will allow me to illuminate in my car. I can counterbalance at a restaurant. I can make it look really cool while I'm out and about. And I can then deal with the walls while I'm on vacation and staying in a house or a hotel so that it looks higher end as I'm creating my content. Follow along for more ticks, uh, t uh, tech pieces, tips and tricks and tech pieces that can help you to level up your content so you can make your content more profitable and work for you and spend less time and effort and stress creating that content. We've got daily videos helping you navigate the world of social media marketing, building your online business, making more money online, but spending less time doing it. We'll see in the upcoming episodes.